Yeah, we're doing a 140 school bus conversion with the Tulsa Public Schools, and what we're doing is we're providing them a service by monetizing their tax credits and leasing their school buses to them over a five-year period where they can use the savings between diesel fuel and natural gas to pay the lease. At the end of the lease term, they'll have their school buses and then they'll be able to put money back into the classroom. We're anticipating uh, with our analysis that we've done with Tulsa Public Schools that we'll help put $11 million back in the classroom because of the switch from diesel to natural gas. Not only is it the cost savings, but also the health benefits to the school children there in Tulsa. I do know that the school buses that are currently in service that are older than 2,000 models, which there are quite a few of them out there, that they're very, uh, they're very dirty. They've been linked to uh, creating problems with respiratory diseases in children uh, because they're uh, exposed to such noxious chemicals on their ride to and from school every day. So we're putting together a program uh, that will provide leasing for school bus conversions. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go into a school system and we will help them with their tax credit, since schools don't have tax liability, we provide them with basically free money uh, for those tax credits and can cut the cost of their conversion about 30%. works out to be a really good deal. It's a win-win situation because with the price of natural gas where it is currently, even with the cost of compression, you're looking at at least a dollar per gallon savings over traditional gasoline or diesel. And if the price continues to rise, we're anticipating on an average on a long-term basis, they can experience between $1.25 and $2 per gallon savings uh, utilizing natural gas instead of diesel. Overall, I think the, the, the number one benefit that we can, uh, we can achieve by switching our fleets to natural gas is ending our dependence on foreign oil. You know, we do have some tremendous benefits with using natural gas to the environment, to public health, public safety. All of these things are very important, but I think getting the United States off of oil dependence from oil dependency from Saudi Arabia and from Venezuela and from all of the people that are uh, opposed to our way of life, I think is the number one benefit that this country will receive by switching to natural gas.